Ever thought about joining the crew at Fire and Emergency New Zealand? Some people think that becoming a firefighter might require you to be some kind of superhuman, but the reality is quite different. We have people from all walks of life, various ethnicities, ages and gender who are part of Fire and Emergency New Zealand and who love what they do in their local communities. This video series will break down the steps of the recruitment process so you can decide if firefighting is the career for you. The application process includes the following stages and each step must be passed before progressing. Check fireandemergency.nz for our dates. We recruit twice a year. This first video focuses on the pre-entry physical test, also known as the PPT. The test has two parts, job related tasks. So we've got eight minutes, 15 seconds to do the test. Keep going. Well done and general strength and endurance tests. Part of this test also includes seeing if you have a fear of heights and can work in confined spaces. On the day, there is a second supervised cognitive test. The test itself is physically demanding, but that's because the job is too. So it's very important that when you come along, you are prepared as best you can. Hence, I've come up with a very generic program for you to follow for the next four to six weeks in order to help prepare you as best you can before you turn up on the day. First things first, remember before any exercise routine, I highly recommend that you stretch and warm yourself up, preferably at the beginning, but it's okay at the end as well. The treadmill, this is going to help with the aerobics and fitness side of the test day, as well as the weighted, unweighted stair climb and the dummy drag at the end of things. I recommend 10 minutes, speed 8 to 12 throughout. Next up on our program we have the rower. The rower is going to be great for the leg muscles, which are going to be great for the dummy drag, any of the aerobic fitness side that require using these muscles. It's also going to be good for the back muscles, for the haul aloft, and the way you grip the handle here, good for the forearms, which is going to also help with the uh, grip strength test. On the rower, we're going to be doing 10 minutes or 2,000 metres, whichever, whichever one comes first, and you want to be rowing the strokes per minute at about 28, give or take. Next up, we're finally into our resistance part of our program. We've got the bench press. Now the muscle groups this will be targeting is pretty much all your upper body, but primarily you're looking around your chest area, your shoulders and your arms. And those are going to be great, not just for the dummy drag, giving you that strength to hold it up, but it's also going to really help with the big ladder pull three storeys high, and that'll give you the strength for that. If you don't have a bench press again, or you're not at a gym, you can still do press ups at home or at the park. And if you need it weighted, use a backpack, chuck some stuff in it, or if you've got little ones running around, get them to jump on your back as you do a few. So that's looking good, Amy. Things to note, your feet can be up or down, making sure your lower back is nice and flat on the bench. The bars usually have markings, and they will help position where your hands need to be. And again, with up and down, you only need to go down to about fist height from your chest to the bar. We're gonna be doing four sets, 10 to 12 reps, two minute break in between. Next to the program, we've got uh, shoulder presses. Muscles we're targeting here, are again, quite high up on the body. Primarily your shoulders, the back of your neck, the tra trapezius muscles, the upper chest. These muscle groups are going to be great for when you're doing the ladder pull. It's going to really help with the dummy drag, with the shoulder strength. If you don't have this bar at home, you can still do the same range of motion using the uh, potato bags, onion bags, flour. Now this is a 10 kg bar, ideally you want to work your way up to a 20 kg bar which is what you'll do on the test. Four sets, 10 to 12 reps again. Feet should be positioned nice and shoulder width parallel, slight bend in the knees, strong core, nice and tight, up and down. The leg press, great exercise for this area down, covering all of your legs, powerhouse muscles there, the front of your legs, the quads, the hamstrings. They are going to be really, really good to get strong because you're going to really need it for the dummy drag. They're also going to really help with the step up, the weighted step ups, and particularly at the end with the deadlifts. Okay, so you're going to need that strength there. If you don't have this machine at home, which you know, I doubt most of us do, you could do free body squat or lunges. And to add weight, you could uh, have a couple of buckets of water just to allow that resistance as you're doing those exercises. Technique, feet, they only need to be about an inch from the top 
and about shoulder width apart. When you're coming down, the shin part needs to be parallel with the ground or the floor. And when going up, please do not lock your knees. Okay, very, very important. And this is the one, two second pace that we want. Uh, again, with the four sets, you want about 10 to 15 reps and two minute break in between. Coming up to the end of our program, we have bicep curls. This is gonna be great if you get that quite strong for the hose carry, which is a 50 meter carry across the yard holding quite a heavy piece of hose. Also, it's gonna be great for your grip strength and it's always gonna assist with holding up the 90 kg dummy, dragging that across the, the yard as well. If you don't have a bar of certain weight at home, again, no issue, you can still simulate the same action and posture using buckets of water, uh, potato bags again, onion bags, even uh, 1.5 bottles filled with water just to start you off with some progression in terms of weight. Coming back to the technical side, again with the feet at shoulder width, the knees must always have that slight bend in it. Again, always tighten the core, make sure that's always strong, back nice and straight, shoulders back, hold your elbows where they are and continue that flexing or that contracting of the forearms up and down. Again, four sets, 10 to 12 reps, two minute gaps in between, and don't forget to breathe. Okay, here we go. Second and last exercise of the day, ab crunches. This exercise focuses a lot on your midsection because that is what we need strong for all the exercises we do. Now, as you see, Amy's nice and flat on the floor, her feet are down, knees are nice and tight together. All you're really doing is coming up about yay height and only going down without your shoulder blades touching the floor. She's looking straight up, which is great. Basically, all you're doing is making sure that you're leading with your chin every crunch that you're coming up. Her hands are behind her ears, not her head. We've all seen what we do with our head at times. Keep it nice and strong. And again, four sets, 10 to 15 reps this time. Don't forget the minute and a half, two minute break in between. And always breathe as Amy's making it look good. Here we go, last exercise of our program, the bicycle. This is a great exercise. It's gonna cover pretty much everything for aerobic fitness, but specifically because of your leg muscles you're using, the steps, the deadlift, and dummy drag. You know, 90 kg dummy and having that leg strength there, it's gonna be great. Unless you got this at home, just take your normal bicycle for a ride around the park, town, uh, to give you the same workout that this is going through. When you set yourself up, you want the seat to be at hip height, and that allows you for the right extension on your, on your legs as they're going around the pedals. We want 10 minutes at around about 60 RPMs, or revolutions, that's how many times your feet are going around, and the resistance, or how hard you're working, at around six to 10. Feel good so far? Too easy? It's a good way to finish off our program, isn't it? If you pass the physical and cognitive test, you've earned right of entry. You'll go forward to Practical Assessment Centre, also known as Pack Day. Check out the next video for more information.